So let's take a couple of minutes and take a look at the output report. So just as a reminder, this 360 report consolidates all of the feedback from both the individual, in this case, Hannah Hoskins, but also from Hannah's manager, from between three and five of her peers, and between three and five of her direct reports, all into one uh, single uh, document. So we provide some introduction, uh, how to use this report if you're Hannah or Hannah's manager, some self-analysis uh, worksheets so that some questions for her to go through and think about the responses that are here. And then we get into the results. Um, we start off with just a very simple summary of each of the five key traits of the VP of sales role and how Hannah has measured herself compared to that of uh, the, the three other um, sets of responses. So as an example, team building here, we can see that in pink, Hannah has uh, scored herself uh, about a uh, three and a half, four, and then a uh, manager has actually um, scored her quite poorly on that. So there's definitely a discussion point there for her to have in a one-to-one. -one. Then for each of those five categories, we then break it down by the individual questions. So there's the high level scoring so that they can decide, you know, how have they compared themselves versus their manager, their peers or their direct reports. But then the same question by question. So it really does drive some excellent uh, conversations between uh, Hannah and her manager, but also in terms of prioritizing areas of focus. So that uh, continues all the way through team building, through sales strategy, through customer focus. <clears throat> and then through transparency. And then we get to the open text fields. And for me personally, <clears throat> these are some of my um, favorites because this is where you get real specific uh, insight that uh, Hannah can use. So firstly, what are my strengths in the role? And these are uh, the actual comments that have been provided by her manager, her team, and, uh, and her peers. Uh, areas of improvement some specific suggestions of where I could improve. What should I start, stop and continue doing? So what should I start doing? What should I stop doing? And what should I continue doing? And then the final question uh, is, what would you do if you were in my role? So these are the specific things. Everyone can always have their own opinion, but like if you were in my role and it's Monday morning, what's the one thing that you'd be doing? So some great insight here to help uh, Hannah on, uh, on her way. Um, and then finally, we get to an action checklist where we look at the, um, the lowest ranked areas by her direct reports. And so these are the seven or eight things that Hannah could really focus on to improve her capabilities as a VP of sales. And that brings us to the end of the report. Um, a really useful way of gathering feedback from across a diverse range of perspectives to help the VP of sales develop 